So much of what we've done in medicine over the years has not really taken into account individual differences. And this is an opportunity to be part of something, something historic. Most studies and most clinical trials have always been with the average white male. So as we start thinking about this in the context of building trust, I think we get back that trust by involving the community. Not saying you come to us or we'll just do things to you. We're going to do things with you and in fact allow that information to be accessible to you, the individual. You're going to have some individuals that are going to say, yes, good, we're getting in on the ground level of a study. And then you're going to have those that have some trepidations about it. My thing is to bring them aboard and let them know that this is for the greater good for them. We have input and, you know, without input, there's no buy-in. And without buy-in, there's no commitment. Without commitment, there's no success. Tuskegee happened. You know, we're not trying to hide that or sweep it under the rug. But communities of color will be at a disadvantage if we do do not find ways to get by that. Whether the focus is asthma, whether the focus is infant mortality, whether the focus is diabetes, cancer or heart disease, communities of color are disproportionately impacted by them. It has always been playing catch up to make sure that they're even getting access, much less minimum service. Low income, underserved, and people of color are oftentimes very generous in giving something if they understand it. And they always do so with the intention that knowing this is not just about me, this is not just even about my family, it is about helping the community down the road. Being able to bring the Asian American population who is never at the table, not only to contribute to science, but to contribute to our ability to understand the nuances within those populations. I think it will provide a huge national data set so we can ask questions and make discoveries about healthcare that will better their own personal health and those of the communities that they are part of. Diversity strengthens the science. It could bridge some civil rights issues and inequities in healthcare across all races and ethnicities and culture. As a community of color, underrepresented, hidden, underserved, what would happen if you were not at the table? It is an issue of equity and it's an issue of justice as well. It is important for minorities to be a part of this or we will again be left with medications that are created for really other populations. I'm hopeful that we will be overwhelmed with folk.